inspired by the moose. Here he is. Uh, and there's some little loose sheets. Um, when we did this, and I, this is my idea, and I'll just sort of show you about this uh, breaking the planes. It was a little contrived thing we did. And then the class, the people in the class, which is the bottom corner. It's you. Come on, it's all cut up. Right. What we did, people took this to a great degree. Um, and that would be wonderful. I'll just flip here so those who you haven't, weren't here or haven't seen it. Um, here is the uh, photograph of the setup. Here are, that to be Beth and Margetta. Um, this happens to be Amy. Um, and her brother Megan. Um, we, what happened with this was I had this little arbitrary, arbitrary beginning where you take, you look at this, uh, each one of these setups is very contrived a la the moose, and take a look, particularly if you're not very familiar with them, um, to use these folds of the cloth. Sometimes there's a faint stripe, but um, which is another one. There are these scallions themselves. There's the fold on the um, on the uh, surface of the setup, um, like this, this, <coughs> this. And the way we did this before, um, I'll just pick one. Uh, oops, this one. Okay. Um, I said arbitrarily, kind of, again with a square. Square. Then you can, um, I have very few people actually did a circle on top, as I recall the last time. Um, most everyone then did a, new, what the, the idea is to do another square. This is just going to be underlay. You do not need to um, use each line, but it's to use the suggestion. So I'm going to overlay an, uh, another square. Whoops. Or, you know, it does not have to be square. Um, what, what are these called? Tra trapezoids. Oh, I tried to. Oh, is that a trapezoid? Um, picking up on a little bit of these lines that you get from the folds, and etc. Then, people. Some people went to town with the um, with the breaking the planes, and you could do that if you want. If it intrigues you. Um, I'm just, Amy's is such a wonderfully extreme example uh, where as she laid in the things that are here, um, you pick up on these underlying, underlying lines and say, here's my uh, jar, my jar of stuff. Uh, here, we come down to here, um, pick up on a different line, maybe break it up, or maybe just pick up on a line. Um, a, a, a turnips, I think this is, again, like this. Here's the line here. You can really emphasize it, or you can just do exactly what you see. But if you break it a little bit, you can make a pattern all over, well, I'll just continue, um, of Here's up to this line. Um, maybe here. This is a, the uh, cabbage, I guess. Uh, and you can either explore this as a as a shape, so that you start thinking about the whole thing as shape, shape, shape. And you're not saying this is how exactly the cabbage goes. However, within that, you can you can do very, very representational work and or you can ignore this breaking of it, but still use, use this as your dynamics. These cloth, the folds, make them your, um, so that when this comes down like this, uh, use it like that, and possibly break again. So um, like that. So you're just following these things, radiating, radiating, and if you establish a very light underlying square, square, or square circle, 
it is, it's just there for, to remind you, like a, little, like a little map to just go back to, to use as much as you want or as little as you want, as you can see in here. Amy, just, I'd like to think she had fun. We don't know. <laughs> Did you? Because it looks like it's so she had, did not have fun, uh, but she broke these shapes. It, it, what it does is it makes you say, um, allows you kind of to break the shapes and to break the things, even though they are still lemons or whatever they are. Um, you are getting to kaleidoscope your objects in any way you want. So it, it forces a little bit more abstraction in your work. Um, that it may not turn out totally abstract. But, you know, some of these are um, not at all as fractured, but the d dynamic is still there, if you look. The use of that, I just think, if, if this gets to you, using those folds, those directionals, then that is the main point. So, there we are. And there we are. Well, essentially. Um, and then, uh, I am totally reserving the branching. Well, maybe I've got to go back and lift a little bit. You might have I to. I have to. Uh, I think I've lost a couple of you, branches. If you lose the, yeah. But, but basically, I am just putting, um, and this might be even a little stronger here. Um, oh, so I can do my outside stronger, okay. Um, but the, um, it's got, this is actually probably a little bit pinker than I, um, here is another little tiny branch up here, so I reserve oh, that. I thought you were doing a tree. Well, <laughs> I said think I'm about stuck. it as a tree. I don't blame um, you on that thing. I can't do it. I just can't do it. Yes, you can. I, yes, you, you have not yet done it. Master, master. <laughs> but, Listen. <clears throat> but I have seen you paint enough stuff that I know that you can paint that. But I've already beautifully done something. Well, if wrong. you ha if you have to lift some, that's fine. But uh, respect those left whites. Did um, you tint your? Paper? No, the paper is uh, actually. I think it's matte for you. Um, um, see, it's so much fun. It's so much fun, Joan. Do you see how much fun? Yes. Pay attention, Joan. <laughs> it has all. It has. All these intense colors, and you paint intense colors. Yeah, but I don't. And but you put green at the bottom. Why not? Oh, okay. <laughs> Actually, it's got a lot of red. You're a red person. Um, yeah, it's red. It's very red, and uh, but they but they change those reds. Um, uh, you know, some of them are very uh, pink, pinky, and then some of them are kind of deep. That's nice, stuff. That's great. Yeah. Isn't it? See how much fun we are having in class today? Yeah. Um, and if you were a very picky person and wanted to get um, even more um, pickiness, uh, you might overlay some. Always just remember you keep are steep, those, steep, keep, keep your thing. Yeah. And if you, right. if you walk right up to that, you'll see some of it has incredible curls back on itself. Okay. Um, so you know, you're gonna, you are going to, um, okay. absolutely, yeah. Uh, and if you see tint on them later, that's fine too. All right. I, I don't know that I do. Um, so if you just remember your, um, see how much fun you had, Joan? But I, I like that curve too. I'm going to so try. So you have to pay attention to the architect.